And you got a guy like Tommy C, for instance, right? Who Oh, forget it. He gets a golden opportunity from the great Keemstar, right? Right through his fingers, it slipped away. And he, he gets asked to be on this great fucking groundbreaking podcast that Keem put together in his mind, right? Keem like goes baby. out, he goes out and he gets the most butterous voice in the world, the one and only clown of the internet. <laughs> this is Colossal is Crazy, and this is The Bajant Podcast. You kind of sound like that. I mean, like, you can't you can't go wrong going out and getting that guy, right? You go out, you get that guy, you add a guy like Keem Star, right? And then you add Tommy C., Right, it doesn't doesn't equal out. You add Tommy C, a guy that at the point, okay, because I was on that show that Keemstar called in this infamous show that right. happened, and at that point, okay, when when Tommy C lit up Keemstar in that episode, or so he says. I mean, it was kind of even, but he says he lit him up, right? That was the point where Keemstar said, "I'm going to ask this guy to be on on a podcast with me." Now, when Keem asked him to come on the podcast with him, that was at that point where he was like, "Hey." You know, I'm going to get this guy to come on the podcast with me and Colossal, and this guy's going to shit on me during these podcasts. This right, guy's going to this guy's going to absolutely take dumps on me on a podcast. This is going to be great. I'm going to get right. this guy on here. I'm going to get Clown, who was harassing the fuck out of me on Twitter and on YouTube, and, and you know, I come out with one video every six months, and if the videos are unbelievable. He comes out with the videos, right? They he are. gets this all-star team together. He goes out. He gets Tommy C. He's going to come in. He's going to bash Keemstar, right? Right. And he comes in, and the first episode, the second episode, the third episode, what does he proceed to do? Drop the ball. He becomes a fucking laugh track. We've heard it all. The laughing hyena laugh track. You know, the whole nine. Yes. I agree. Yeah. The bottom line is he did drop the ball on that. He dropped the ball fucking really hard. Well, when Tommy defended Tommy NC on that show that Keem actually called up and, um, you know, he saw a different side of Tommy. So I think that's what intrigued him in the first place to want to pick this guy up. Yes, So when exactly. he got that opportunity, exactly. I mean, he really, yeah. you know, he, he fucking let it go. He dropped the ball. I don't know what he was thinking. I guess the money got to his head. It was head fucking at, at horrible. Point. How do you fucking hire a guy to come on there? I mean, listen, obviously Keemstar had the, the, the talk with him. Hey, uh, Tommy, you know, I want you to pretty much do what you did uh, that night on your show. Uh, come in there and just let me have it. Call me out on my bullshit. You know, you see a guy like Colossal is crazy who always called Keemstar out on his bullshit on that podcast calling Keemstar out on his bullshit. You know, Tommy, what he did was he finagled himself underneath uh Clown, he 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 had clown, and and this is you know we're coming up with this because they just recently recently covered this with him Tommy telling right. the reasons why he broke up the the baited podcast. Okay, right. He had like a Q and A. This yeah. guy drummer eight two eight is now in a fight with him back and forth. They yeah, they're going back other. and forth. They're going they're beefing with each other now. Listen, right, they were we, good friends, and then they turned on one another. Yeah. And, uh, if you know this channel, our our history is I worked with Tommy C for a little while on the show. It was horrible. Okay, anyway, long story short, we've we've argued with this guy. I mean, we, he's a 30-some-odd thousand sub channel, and right. we were a couple of hundred subs, and we went head-to-head -head with him, and we crushed him, okay? Our Patreon crushes his Patreon. You can't even come close to the support that we have and the great people that we have because you got to remember, his community is a little bit different. You know what I mean? Well, I got to give of, credit where it's due, though, Ken. I got to uh, say. You know, what are you really going to give him credit for? For I, his I, laugh? I just got to say, as you far know? as not even being picked up by Keemstar and going on baited, okay? I so, understand so that. So you're going to give him credit. Baited. So you give him credit just for getting picked up by I, Keemstar. No, mind not you, even just for being picked up by Keem. Mind you, credit. mind you, I was on the show that night, but mysteriously, out of nowhere, uh, Skype dropped me and he couldn't get me back on the call. So let's let's keep that there, too. Yeah, let's, but I'm, to I'm talking about the aftermath. Let's now, not I'm forget that. When he left baited. Okay, yeah. which a lot of people are accusing Tommy right now of actually killing the baited podcast. He did. He was place. the one. He finagled Clown. Clown was finagled by him. Clown figured that out afterwards when he saw how Tommy was just clickbaiting and fucking putting up dick videos of Keem just to get some fucking views. And Clown saw this and said, holy shit, like, holy shit, maybe he was right, Keem saw. You know I think it was that? a little more personal that, you know, about stuff we don't really know about publicly. I think there probably has a lot more to do with behind the scenes okay. that we don't know about. Yeah. Because that, to me, doesn't seem like a valid reason. Because Tommy C. even said that he felt like Keem was trying to actually get rid of the show for a while. Yeah. 
you know, the communication wasn't there. The money wasn't there. He claims that Keem only paid him twice, five hundred dollars. Oh, this guy! Times. This guy claims a lot of things. I mean, it's like, come on now, already. This guy claims a lot of things. He claims that I told Keemstar that Tommy C couldn't pay for his child support. All right, but and, and, and then he of, says, but, 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 but wait, let me finish this. One show on let iTunes. me fucking finish this, okay? Number I one show on iTunes, and he's only getting five hundred dollars. Wouldn't you be frustrated? All right, let me get to that. But look, look, let me get to that. First of all, this guy, and I can't look at it unbiasedly because I can't stand this fucking loser. This guy <laughs> turned around and he says, "You, the only person that I ever told that I couldn't pay my child support to was number one Ken and dead on fucking dead air Dave or whatever his name is. The fuck, right. you know, the guy who freeloads off his subs." That guy, those two guys, right, he told. Number one, he would never tell me about his child support situation because I was never friends with him like that, nor did I want to be friends with him like that. So that's number one, he never told me. He said, I went and I told Keemstar because Dave sure as hell wouldn't do that to him, his best friend, right? He wouldn't do that. So therefore, then it must have been me. I went to Keemstar. I spoke to Keemstar. I said, listen, your boy over there is blaming me for telling you that he doesn't pay child support. Can you please tell this guy that it's not true and... Because, I mean, I really, either way, I don't give a fuck. If I did tell Keemstar about his child support, then I'll sit here and, and take the uh, the accolades for that yeah, because I wish I did. you work with the guy before, I wish so I you did see tell something him that. in him as far as talent goes. Uh, listen, first of all, the Keemstar picked him up. You this work guy, with the guy. This guy got very lucky that he met two people in his career here on YouTube, Okay. He's very lucky he met two people. I'm not even going to say the names, but he's very lucky he met two people. And the bottom line is he got the ball. He got a golden opportunity to be on one of the biggest podcasts ever to hit YouTube. And he laughed for fucking several episodes. He laughed. And then he wanted more money for laughing. Are you kidding me? If well, the Keemstar, guy was at the if time. Keemstar I mean, would have gave me that fucking opportunity, if Keemstar would have said, hey, the guy that's on the phone with you that wrote jokes the whole night before because he knew Keemstar was coming on that episode and I was being told by Tommy C, yo, get whatever jokes you can get together about Keemstar. I put all these jokes together about Keemstar, all this stuff that he says re a million times, all this stuff, and I, I even transferred it over to Tommy, which he used half of them when he was yelling his whole tirade at uh, Keemstar. But like I said, I got dropped out of Skype before Keemstar came on the line, think which Tommy was weird. I thought it was going to grow to be as big as it did. No, I, I think don't Tommy think knew. That he Tommy it was fucking make that much revenue. Tommy knew. Tommy knew that if he can get Keem on that spot one time and just rip him a new ass, that it would at least start the interaction of those, those two together. He didn't but, dream so, that. He so he had get the our, opportunity. Why would he fuck that up? I think that I think that he's just not made to be on a big boy fucking broadcast like that with a guy like Colossal is crazy and a guy like Keemstar and you could tell he wasn't because all he was doing was sitting there and laughing it was nerves well he it did was, admit that he was nervous yeah it was dropping the ball bro you dropped the fucking ball of your life you think you're sitting at home now making whatever money you make on your channel now and you have no job and you're working to make ends meet on YouTube. Well, guess what? You would have been fucking rolling in the dough right now if you would have fucking not sat there and laughed like a fucking hyena for a half hour every fucking time. Okay? I mean, honestly. I mean, you, make, you, you do make good points. But at the end of the day, he had a great opportunity even though he dropped the ball. You the blew guy's being it! Attacked. You blew it! He's being attacked by other YouTubers trying to milk him right now. So as far as success goes, well, listen, he got he, what he was looking for. Listen, he's a good clickbaiter. He knows how to clickbait. He, he got know, the views. He knows what subs. YouTube stories to go after and talk about, kind of like what we're doing on No Hard Feelings now. And listen, No Hard Feelings, the guy definitely does have a talent to, of, to spot out like where to go with his videos and stuff like that. But sometimes his videos are just plain and simple duds. They're duds. They're milk duds. One big milk dud. So it is what it is. You know, I don't I don't wish any ill will on the guy. But stop fucking thinking I told Keemstar about your fucking child support because I didn't, you asshole. Go ask Keemstar yourself and I'm sure Where I'll tell you. do you think this is going to go from here on out now after all this hate that he's got? I think Keemstar and Tommy C will start doing a podcast again together. Hey, no hard feelings. No, no, no. <laughs> no hard no. feelings, guys. I don't think they'll ever work together. I, really uh, I don't know about that. I've seen... Him and Joel start working together again. Uh, you never know. That one goes out to you, no Tommy C. No hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs>